Hey everybody! Welcome to a Learning Sunday video where every Sunday we learn something together! We're gonna learn how to do iMovie. Let's learn together! Okay, so, so iMovie comes standard on every single Mac, phone, laptop, computer. It's on a Mac, so if you don't have a Mac, this video is not gonna help you. If you have a Mac, this is how you do it. So type in iMovie, get the iMovie. Bam! What's new in iMovie? I don't care. Go, move past this. All right, so create new. You wanna create a movie. So you put in the video clips that you want. I put in my SD card, and this will pop up, and then you add the footage that you wanna add. Import selected. This is just random vlog footage of mine. And you wait for it to load in. Now you do as it says, drag and drop video clips and photos from the browser above to start creating your movie. So you highlight all of them and you drag them down. Now this thing over here, this thing right here, makes the clips longer or shorter. Not like they make it from 10 seconds to five seconds. It makes the visual of the clip longer or shorter. So now that it's all in there, you can play it. Now if you want to shorten the end of a clip, you grab the end and you bring it in. Or if you want to not do that, don't do that. Shorten the beginning of the clip, grab the front, move it inward. That will make it longer or shorter. Now if you click on a clip, it'll tell you how long that clip is up here, and the number next to it tells you how long all of the clips are together. It does the math for you. All right, now if you want to cut out tiny little sections of the clips, but not the whole clips, so let's expand this. And I'll show you that usually when I'm editing my videos, I don't leave spaces in between words because if I were to talk and there were long pauses in between everything that I said, you would hate that. So I edit that out. So how do you cut that out is Command B and wherever your little sorcerer, <laughs> call it a sorcerer, okay? Wherever the cruiser, the little line thing is, that's where it's gonna cut. So I want it right here, control B. And then you click on that and delete it and that's gone and it becomes two separate clips now. Does that make sense? So I want this gone and this gone and this gone and that gone. So click, highlight the two clips you want and then press delete. Boom. So that's how you cut clips down. Now for audio, this right here controls the audio. You want it louder? 400%? you want it not existent at all and then literally nothing happens no music plays now with montages I usually cut all the sound and then put music under it but how do you put music under it good question you go to audio everything from iTunes will show in it it's all related that's what's great about Apple products this is not a brand I wish it was I wish this was hashtag ad so you just find what you want. I have a bunch of royalty free things. So I type in YouTube and all of the things I've ripped from YouTube that are allowed to be used. We'll use that one. That's a good one. Uh, yeah. You drag that down under the clip that you wanted it. All right. So now this is. And then on that beat, I want to switch it to another clip. So I'm gonna cut it right there. I'm gonna drag this clip. You just click it and drag and put it where you want it. So now when that changes, another clip happens. Oh yeah. Now you can put them in fast motion or slow motion. So if you wanna put it in fast motion, you click on the clip, go to modify and you go to fast forward and you can go, do you want it twice the speed, four times the speed, eight times the speed or 20 times the speed. This clip is only 24 seconds long. So let's put it at four times the speed. Oh, it's going in fast motion, guys. It's happening, fastly. Oh, and sometimes it'll skip around. It takes a while for it to register that it's a clip. Oh, now we're back to normal speed, looking at the clouds. Now when I start talking, it's gonna go to this. Hello, beautiful. You can't hear me when the music's that loud. So you're gonna cut the music clip which I know seems weird, but cut the music clip and then you're gonna lower the background music. Oh, so low. So it still Hello, plays, people. but it's not as loud as my voice. So we've covered how to cut the clips. We've covered how to do the audio to it. Now, sometimes people do cool transitions. So you just click on the word transitions and you put them in between two clips. Now I'm about to film. Oh, did you see that transition? What just happened? Watch it again. Now I'm about to film. 
That was pretty cool if you ask me. There's a bunch of different transitions. You just have to fiddle around with them, put them in between the clips, and that's how it happens. Those three things are huge factors in editing. You basically just have to play around with it, see where you like to put cuts. You can move clips wherever you want. Boo, moved it. Oh, I want this one over here. Oh, out. Oh. That's another thing. <laughs> you can put clips on top of other clips. So whatever clip is on top is the clip that's going to show visually. So for example, I put this random clip of the drive I was on on top of me packing up my Christmas decorations. So when I play it, it's me doing my Christmas decorations and then because the driving clip is on top, it shows the driving clip. And once that clip is over, it goes back to the Christmas decorations. The Christmas decoration video is still playing underneath it, but you just can't see it. You can, however, if you want to put it in a corner, like how my computer screen is small in this corner, you do that by I put the computer screen clip on top of this main clip that I'm on, and then I shrunk the computer screen clip down size-wise. Does that make sense? I'll show you right here. Okay, so this is on top, you click it, and then you're gonna go to these little boxes. And you click picture in picture, and you drag this where you want it to go. So because it's on top, it's the one that's gonna be smaller. Put this in a corner, you can make it bigger. Boo, there you go. That's basically how I put my computer screen in the same picture as I am here right now. I put the computer screen clip on top of this normal clip and then I pictured and pictured it smaller. Okay, so now when you play this, they'll both play at the same time and in the same frame. Oh, did you see that? Oh. So that's how that works. Now if you want to do writing, you click on titles and you pick which kind you want. If you scroll over them, they show you what they do. What? Okay, so I want this one. I want it to go on top of my clip. I'm the best. And then up here you can change the font. You can change the size of it, where it sits in that little box. You want it bold, you want it not bold, the color of it. Everything up here will change that business, okay? Now, there are other things you can do such as color correction. You click on the clip you want to color correct and then you go up here, you click the little paint panel thing and you just mess with the colors. Ooh, Nelly! Whatever you want, you can do. You have the power. I'm blue. I'm yellow. I'm a child. You can mix with the sound up here. If you click on the clip, you can see all these things you can do up here. A lot of editing is just messing around with it, getting comfortable with it. Start with something small and build your way up. I'm not the best editor in the entire world and I've been doing it for a lot of years and I've used several different programs. I personally like Final Cut Pro, but I started with iMovie. It gets your basics going. And then if you want to get more intense with your editing, you can move up to something else. By the way, if you notice when you go over a clip that it zooms in or out like that, that's called Ken's Burns. You go up here to crop and you can fit, hit fit or crop to fit or Ken's Burns, which will zoom things in or out. If you don't want it to do that, you just go crop to fill or fit, whatever you want, and then it won't move. Easy as that. So anyway, that's it. I think that's all I can teach you right now. It's, it's pretty simple. You just gotta toy around with it. If you're ever in need, just go up to the help and you're like, I know I want a title, but I can't find that button. Just type in title and then it'll take you there. The help button really does help in this situation. So all you really need to know is how to import, cut, music, transition, titles. All right, that's it for today. I hope you guys learned something. I hope this was helpful. I learned editing by just fooling around with it. Now look at what I do for a living. But yeah, please comment below, tweet me, Instagram me, Facebook me, other things you'd like to learn about. Uh, like this video if you like it, subscribe to see videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday on this channel. Every Sunday we learn something together. I love you guys so much. And remember, above all else, stay awesome, possums. <laughs>